the African people are tired, exhausted by the categorizations with which everyone wants to box us in. Africa's population is young. It did not experience the Cold War. It did not experience the ideological wars that have shaped the world over the last 70 years. That is why we Africans are insulted by the boxes, the categories, which sometimes place us under the influence of the Americans, sometimes under that of the British, sometimes the French, or the Chinese, or the Russians, and even the Turks. We are neither pro nor anti-American. We are neither pro nor anti-Chinese, nor pro or anti-French, nor pro or anti-Russian, nor pro or anti-Turkish. We are simply pro-African, that is all. Placing us under the influence of this or that power is an insult. It is contempt and racism towards a continent of more than 1,300,000,000 people. It is important that in this prestigious and influential assembly we understand clearly, definitively, that the era of the old Africa is over. With a population of more than 1 billion Africans, around 70% of whom are young people, young people who are completely free, open-minded, open to the world, and determined to take their destiny into their own hands. The time has come to realize that the structures, the rules from the post-war era, established in the absence of our states, which did not yet exist at the time, are obsolete. This is the end of an unbalanced and unjust era where we had no say in the matter. It is time to take our rights into our account and to let us take our proper place, but also and above all, it is time to stop lecturing us and to stop treating us with condescension like children. Rest assured that we're old enough to know what is good for us to design our own models, which are in line with our identity, the daily reality of, of our countries and our populations, in line with what we are, quite simply. We would be very grateful to you if you trust us and let us run our business as you have allowed in certain regions of the world, as you have allowed in Asia, in the Near, in the Middle East, to cite only a few. This infantilization that we have experienced has had the worst effects on African youth who are now emancipated. In this context, we are all challenged and called upon to carry a, out a better analysis of the situation with a view to initiating and pursuing new policies for the benefit of all. The international community must look to Africa with new eyes. It must now engage in genuine cooperation with Africa in a spirit of win-win partnership. I thank you for your attention.